Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first episode of Junk or Gems. In this series, I open up random boxes of gaming stuff gifted to me from people. Today's episode is sponsored by my future brother-in-law, so shoutouts to Tammy's brother. Will today's haul be junk, or will there be some gems? Well, right off the bat, we got something that's in its own box. It's a freaking Nintendo Wii. Do y'all remember how hard it was to get a Wii when they first came out? It was like harder than Switch. It was harder than PS5, I think. Everybody wanted one and they were sold out absolutely everywhere. I am actually excited for this because I don't have a Wii anymore. So this is perfect for my collection. Oh man, and what would a Wii be without Wii Fit? You weren't a true gamer if you didn't play Wii Fit. Y'all remember this? I think we all remember doing like Ah, uh, planks. Remember the planks in Wii Fit? That is uh, the one I remember the most. Okay, I couldn't really remember anything else, but planks, man. Planks. Okay, so we have two boxes here to choose from. We've got this normal looking like Amazon box, and then we've got this blue box, which is a little bit smaller. Which one should I open first? For some reason, my gamer intuition is telling me to save the blue box for last, so I'm gonna do this box first. Yo ho ho, look at this. It's a Zelda Wiimote. This is limited edition, yo. If I recall correctly, this came with a uh, Skyward Sword in a bundle when it came out. This is awesome, man. I mean, this is a super awesome like piece of history. Um, Skyward Sword was a hot mess because using the Wiimote and the nunchuck was terrible, but this is a cool controller. All right, everybody, we got a lot of stuff in here. I see a lot of games, and I see a lot of interesting-looking peripherals. We've got a Nerf steering wheel. Wow, I've not seen this one before. Um, it's like the Mario Kart steering wheel, but a little bit different. A Nerf baseball bat? I do not know what this one is for. Okay, so I looked it up, and apparently this was a pack that you could buy for a game called Nerf Sports. Um, I always played Wii Sports and stuff, but I've never heard of Nerf Sports before. Y'all have to let me know if you played this one and, and if it was any good. Yo, it's Taiko, baby! Taiko no Tatsujin, are you kidding me? Dude, I love Taiko. I just got it for the Switch recently, and here we go. This is like for the PS2. This is old school, man. Got a bunch of miscellaneous controllers and stuff, and oh my god, what is this? These are like ancient headsets. Good lord. Got more controllers coming out the butt. So many controllers. PS2 memory card, baby. Look at that storage space. Eight megabytes. Damn. My thumb drive's got like a terabyte, yo. This is crazy. Ah, yes, and here it is. The PS2. Dude, PS2 was like my favorite console. It was up there. For the time, definitely one of my favorite consoles of all time. This one has the additional thing you had to install for internet access. Uh, I don't remember ever having this. For that hot online console gaming in the year 2000, you know what I mean? It was probably still better than Mario Maker 2 online. Oh no! We got Rayman, Need for Speed, Just Dance, White Snowboarding, Speed Racer, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, Super Mario Galaxy, that's a good one, Lego Batman, Need for Speed again, Wii Fit Plus, Wii Music, The Big Brain Club, Ghostbusters, who you gonna call, GoldenEye, Green Day Rock Band. I didn't know they had their own version of the game. That's weird. And Wii Sports Resort. Here's Tyco, baby. Oh, yeah. And of course, the classic Wii Sports. I used to play this game all the time. I loved bowling. Definitely a good one. All right, are you all ready for the moment of truth? The mysterious blue box. What could be inside? Is it glorious? I hope it's glorious. Let me just take a quick peek here. Um, 
Dude! It's glorious! It's glorious! Kicking things off, we have Mario Paint, baby. I love Mario Paint. I used to play this for hours and hours when I was a kid. And if you thought that was good, next up we've got Super Mario RPG. Are you kidding me? Hell yeah, dude. And then Yoshi's Island? Bro, I don't even have this game. Like, this is filling up my collection. I needed this one. And right after that, we've got the classic, the OG Super Mario World. And we've got Monopoly here, that's funny. I've never played Monopoly on a, on a SNES. I used to play it all the time as a board game. I wonder if it's any good. Oh my sweet lord, we have a link to the past. You guys aren't gonna believe this, but I actually don't own this game either. I used to when I was a kid, but um, I ended up losing a lot of the games I used to have, which is unfortunate, but I didn't have this one. This is incredible. Okay, and a little Wheel of Fortune. All right, all right. <laughs> Yo, this keeps getting better. Super Mario All-Stars in the box. Are you serious? Bro, this is in like mint condition. I mean, maybe not mint, but this is in very good condition here. Oh wow, and next up we've got a copy of Tetris 2, also in very good condition with the box and the instruction manual. Awesome. Oh man, and now we have a, a bag here with a Game Boy and a ton of games. Super Mario Land 2, Dr. Mario, Super Mario Land, and the original Tetris. I used to play this on road trips all the time. <laughs> and here we have the random Rocky and Bullwinkle. <laughs> the Game Boy is in pretty good condition, man. I mean, usually you see a Game Boy and it looks like it's been, you know, dropped in the toilet a few times, but this one is actually not bad at all. I found some, like, ancient document here. What is this? It's like a printout. It looks like uh, he, he maybe printed off how to beat some of the stuff in Zelda. Kakariko Village in trouble. After the short story sequence, look around on the island you are standing on and find a plaque that talks about shooting into the morning sun. Got a couple SNES controllers here and they're in great condition, what can I say? Yo, look at this, we got the mouse pad and the mouse for Mario Paint. And of course, here she is, the mothership, the Super Nintendo. This is uh, the standard like North American Super Nintendo right here. I actually do not have this model. Uh, I have a different model of Super Nintendo, so now I have the original as well, so I'm pretty stoked about that. All right, everybody, that's it. We've exhausted the boxes. Um, so the first episode of Junk or Gems was a huge success. We definitely had some junk, but we had many, many gems, especially for the retro gamer, the SNES 90s gamer, that is myself. Uh, opening up the second box, getting games like Mario RPG, uh, Link to the Past, Mario Paint, all this Super Nintendo stuff, this is just incredible. The highlight for me was probably the Super Mario All-Stars in the box, like in super good condition. That probably got me the most excited, but a number of uh, these SNES games um, were super, super rad to find. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let me know below what items you found interesting, what your favorite ones were. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button. Much love, my friends, and I'll see you in the next video.